chapter 10, we're going to look at the physical properties of gases and explain these properties in terms of the behavior of gas molecules. Uh, so, so different gases might have different chemical properties, but their physical prop properties are uh, fairly similar. For example, they all expand to fill their containers and you can compress them, and they also have very low densities. So they might undergo different reactions and have different chemical properties, but their physical properties are, are generally the same. Um, so when we talk about gas, we're, we're going to talk about pressure. Um, pressure is just a, a you know, force applied to an area, so just force over area. And um, atmospheric pressure, since the, the, the atmosphere is made up of gases, the atmospheric pressure is just the weight of, uh, of the air per, per unit area. Um, so one way that you can measure the, um, the atmospheric pressure, you know, the, the first way that you tried to do this was, was generating this kind of, um, was developing this kind of barometer. Uh, so this barometer here just has like a pool of mercury, a dish of mercury, and then you take an evacuated tube, and uh, so evacuate just means it doesn't have anything in it, it's just a vacuum, there's no gas or anything in there. So you, you pop out all the gas, and then you put it upside down into this tube, uh, into this pool of mercury, and it kind of sucks up a certain amount, uh, depending on what the air pressure is, depending on the atmospheric pressure. So you have pressure of, of the gases um, forcing down on the outside of the, 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 the um, pool of mercury, and then it's going to support um, a, a col a mercury, this column of mercury to a certain height, depending on what the pressure is of the atmosphere. And so you can measure the, the atmospheric pressure in terms of millimeters of mercury. Um, here we go, millimeters of mercury, which is also called a tor. Uh, tor comes from the, um, the inventor of this barometer, uh, Evangelista Torricelli you probably never heard of, but you may have heard of his teacher. Um, he worked for Galileo, so he's, he's kind of a cool guy. Um, so these are a bunch of different units of pressure. Uh, you don't have to memorize any of these conversion uh, factors. I'll give you these if, if we need them. Uh, we're going to use this one a lot. One atmosphere is 760 torr. So uh, yeah, one atmosphere is 760 torr. Torr is the same thing as millimeters of mercury. Um, so you'll, you'll always be able to refer back to these uh, if you need them, these conversion factors if you need them. Alright, so let's, let's just practice doing some conversions. Um, if we wanted to convert atmosphere to tor, then we'd start with atmosphere. Uh, atmosphere goes on the bottom, tor goes on top, so we look up that conversion factor. One atmosphere is 760 tor. This was our measurement. Uh, remember this first zero is not significant, so we have three sig figs in this number, so we're going to have three sig figs in our final answer. Don't forget to put your units. Um, 271 tor is a lot different than 271 atm. Uh, so to make sure you include your units and you um, take care of your uh, sig figs as well. Um, if you want to go from tor to atmospheres, so it's just the opposite of that. We start off with tor, so we have 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 2 tor. Put tor on the bottom, bottom, atmosphere on top. Your tors are going to cancel, uh, and you'll end up with something in atmospheres. We started with two sig figs, so we're going to have two sig figs down here. So you can pause the video and uh, and try to work these out. Make sure you get this first. Now we have to go back up to the top and look at the kilopascal conversion, um, and that's in the list there. So 101.325 kilopascals is 760 tor. So you're just going to multiply those out, and then you get 1104 tor. So keep track of your sig figs and keep track of your units. All right. Um, so another another thing we have to talk about is uh, standard pressure. So standard pressure is just the pressure under normal atmospheric um, conditions, so normal atmospheric pressure at sea level, which is just one atmosphere or 760 millimeters of mercury. So whenever it says you're at standard pressure, it just means it's at one atmosphere. Uh, or 760 millimeters of mercury or 101.325 kilopascals, you can convert it into any units you want. It's probably easier just to remember it um, as one atmosphere. Um, okay, so if, if we know how to measure the pressure of the atmosphere using a, a barometer, suppose we had a, a gas that was trapped in a flask and we want to figure out what the pressure is there. We can compare it to the pressure of the atmosphere using something called a manometer. Um, so this is a device used to measure the difference in pressure between the atmospheric pressure and that of the gas uh, trapped in a vessel, so some kind of flask. So here, over here on, on the right here, we have a picture of uh, a manometer. So you have your gas trapped in here, and so the gas is going to exert a certain amount of pressure, uh, and it's going to push down on you know, this side of the column of mercury, here on this side of the tube. So it's pushing down over here on this column of mercury here. I don't know why I missed it there. 
Um, and then the atmosphere is also pushing on this column of mercury. So you have this tube, this gray spot in here, that, that, that's all just mercury. So you have this tube filled with mercury. And if, um, if the, the, the atmospheric pressure was the same as, the, um, as the, the pressure in the gas, those two levels would be even. They would be even. There would there would be no difference in height, so they would both be here. If the atmosphere was the same as the gas, so if those pressures were the same, but they're not here. So we're trying to figure out who who has a higher pressure, the gas or the atmosphere. Who's pushing more on this uh, column of mercury? And it turns out the gas is right. If you look at the gas side, is lower than the atmosphere, so the gas must be pushing more than the atmosphere. So if you want to figure out, uh, you know, how much more is the gas pushing? Well, it's whatever the difference in this column of mercury is. So the atmosphere is pushing this on this side, the gas is pushing on this side, and the difference there, you just take the difference in these columns of, of mercury. And so this problem, you can you know, read through this problem, kind of work on this. Um, you have a, you know, they tell you what the atmospheric pressure is here. Atmospheric pressure is this guy, the 64.7 torr, and then you put some gas in here, and then you measure the heights of the column of, columns of mercury. Uh, and so you're measuring the, the heights from you know the bottom, oops, there we go, from the bottom here to uh, wherever you know on this side it would be here, and that's 103.8, and on this side it'd be from the bottom to uh, uh, to, to the atmospheric side 136.4. So if you want to figure out what this h is, it's just you just subtract those two numbers 136.4 minus 103.8, and you figure out what that uh, difference in pressure is going to be. In, in we call it the, the difference in the height of mercury. Um, so that's going to be in millimeters of mercury. That's what that mm means. It's millimeters. And then since there's mercury in here, you're just measuring the height of the mercury. And then we said the gas is pushing more than the atmosphere because the gas side is lower than the atmosphere. So all we have to do is add that difference in uh, the pressure here to whatever the pressure of the atmosphere was. And so that's what we're doing down here. We just take, um, first we find the height. So we subtract those two columns of mercury. And we find the height is uh, 32.6, and I and I just put it right into torr because millimeters of mercury is the same thing as torr. Uh, they're the same, they have the same value. Um, and then this is the pressure of the atmosphere, and then I'm just going to add the pressure of the gas because the gas is pushing more than the atmosphere, so I'm going to add them here in this case. Um, and then we get to 797.3 torr. Um, if we wanted to convert that to atmospheres, then we just do a a tor to atmosphere conversion. So we start off with tor, divide by 760 tor, because for every one atmosphere it's 760 tor, and you get 1.049 atmospheres. Now, before we go on there, let's say, now what if it what if it was reversed? What if the, um, the, the atmosphere was pushing more than the gas? What if we had, you know, a column here, and then uh, on this side it was only down to there? Um, what would happen then, if we had that situation? Then we would, then the atmosphere is, uh, is, push, uh, is pushing more than the gas, and so if we're trying to measure the pressure of the gas, uh, we would subtract uh, whatever that height was from the column of mercury. So this is this is not a, a hard and fast equation here. You you have to look at the picture and decide: Am I adding it or am I going to subtract it? So if the gas is pushing more, then you're going to add the column of mercury, the difference in the columns of mercury, to the atmosphere. If the atmosphere is pushing more than the gas, um, then you're going to subtract uh, the from the atmosphere, whatever the uh, pressure was, or the, the columns of the difference in the columns of mercury. So the equation is pressure of the gas. You're always trying to measure the pressure of the gas. You're going to know what the pressure of the atmosphere is, and then you're either going to add or subtract um, that difference in the columns of mercury, whatever that height is, depending on you know who's pushing more. So if the gas pushes more, then you're going to add. If the atmosphere pushes more, then you're going to subtract. And then one more unit conversion for this problem. I'll uh, start off with atmospheres and then get to kilopascals. So we just look up that conversion factor. If you start with atmospheres, you have to put atmospheres on the bottom. Kilopascals are going to go on the top. All right.